A few days ago, I made a video talking about how the book of Job is probably not the oldest book in the Bible, as many people seem to believe, as I myself believed prior to my PhD program. I said in that video that the final form of the text is probably dated to the 6th century BCE or later after the exile, and is therefore one of the younger books in the Bible on the basis of some of its linguistic features, its intertextual features, and some of its thematic features. But this commenter right here disagrees somewhat vehemently, thinking that the only reason I don't think it's the oldest book in the Bible is because my liberal teacher said so. In fact, the commenter went on and said that 97% of biblical scholars actually disagree with me and presumably affirm then that the book of Job is the oldest book in the Bible. Now, this is both a very high and a very specific number, so I was curious where the commenter got this idea from and asked them for sources, which they did in fact provide five of. Here we have a list of books by David Kleins, John Hartley, Tremper Longman, K. Lawson Younger, and James Crenshaw. I have to say I'm kind of surprised to see David Kleins on this list after the commenter complained about liberal teachers, given that David Kleins is one of the founders of Sheffield Academic Press, where I get some of my most Marxist books from, but I was excited to dive into these sources because I had only read the Kleins book before, and I was happy to take a look at a few more. Unfortunately for this commenter, not a single one of these texts supports their idea that the book of Job is the oldest book in the Bible, and in fact, when these books do attempt to date the book of Job, they date it to around when I did. Let's start with a book by Kalos and Younger, because this one turns out to not have anything at all to do with the book of Job, and I assume that this commenter cited this text on accident. This is actually a study comparing the conquest narratives in the book of Joshua to other conquest narratives in the ancient Southwest Asia. So it simply has nothing to do with the book of Job or its dating. Tremper Longwin's book doesn't seem to take the position that the book of Job is the oldest book in the Bible. Instead, he says there are some indications, none of them certain, that the book was written rather late in the history of Israel. Late in the history of Israel is not oldest book in the Bible. And then sort of when pressed, he says in conclusion, while the setting of the book is without a doubt early, the date of composition is unknown. Saying I don't know doesn't seem to support the idea that the book of Job is the oldest book in the Bible either. Hartley takes the 6th century date for the book of Job that I proposed seriously before ultimately concluding down at the bottom there that a 7th century date is a little bit better. Regardless of which of these two it happens to be, that's still not the oldest book in the Bible. David Kleins isn't particularly interested in the dating of the book of Job. Nevertheless, he provides a summary statement up here that most scholars think that the composition of the book of Job falls somewhere between the 7th and the 2nd centuries BCE. That, of course, includes the dating range I proposed and would not make it the oldest book in the Bible. And then last we have James Crenshaw here who just straight up agrees with me, saying a 6th century date for the book of Job seems likely. To summarize, of the five books cited, we have one that's totally irrelevant for the question, one that ultimately says, I don't know, and then three that, broadly speaking, agree with me.